What's going on guys? Tuo Cruz here. We're checking in today at Yakuza Station in Toyota in the eastern side of Nagoya, Japan. We're going to be doing a bit of mountain biking today. You'll notice on the channel we've been doing a lot of mountain biking lately. And this area here has one of my favorite trails, the Hiromi Rindo. Today is also a big day because my good friend Hiroki, who you've seen in some of the cyclocross videos on this channel, racing in Japan, he just bought a mountain bike. I convinced him to buy a mountain bike. I pressured him. I kept pressuring him to buy a mountain bike. And today we're going to be going on our first mountain bike ride together. So really, really excited. Actually, a couple of weeks ago when we were preparing for our cyclocross race, I took him out to this trail that we're going on today. He was on his cross bike and the trail's a little bit rougher for a cross bike, but he he fell in love with the trail and that was the pushing point that pushed him over the edge that he decided he wanted to buy a mountain bike. I'm actually wearing the same clothes that I wore on that last ride. This is my new winter Christmas jersey from Santic. Nice little present from them. We've been doing a couple of video reviews on their jerseys lately, their summer jersey, their fall jersey, and now today I'll also add a little bit of a winter jersey review. It's about nine degrees Celsius today, but nice and sunny, so it's not too cold. I'm trying a new thing this year where I'm wearing a little bit less clothing while I ride in the winter. I used to wear a lot, a lot of layers and I just sort of always overheat. And this year I've been trying an approach where I wear just a little bit less, just what I need. If I'm riding at a good pace, I stay pretty warm throughout the ride. It's not so good if you're stopping and talking like I am now, so we're gonna be going really soon. But first I gotta find Hiroki. He's supposed to be meeting me at this parking lot. He's driving over here, I rode over here. Let's go find him real quick. So we found Hiroki. This is his new baby, his new mountain bike. A specialized chisel. Nice black frame, 29er. Really nice sleek handlebar setup. Everything now seems to be going to the single front, so we've only got the brake lever on the side. Looks like we've got some, what is this, SRAM NX shifter here. And then the level TL brakes. So nice single setup up front. He's got the half flat, half SPD pedals on here. And then we've got the giant, giant cassette on the backside here. The way the technology is developing in the mountain bike area is pretty interesting. I've still got the old style design. If we go over to my bike, Mirori-chan, we can see I've got the more sort of traditional style cassette here and then the double up front. And actually, when I started way back when, over 10 years ago, everything in my hometown was triples, which is kind of ridiculous because in Michigan, there's no mountains. There's no need for a triple. There are some mountains here though that are really steep that I'd wish I'd have a triple on. And actually, my bike isn't shifting into the small gear right now, so I'm stuck in the outer gear, but just gotta power through it. Anyway, let's go get on the trail. <laughs> here we are, entering the main section of the climb. We're leaving civilization behind, and we're heading into the mountain. Hiroki's got his bright yellow jersey on. Safety first. Anzen Daiichi. <laughs> This is kind of a little bit of a secret climb, but well known in the ATV community. There's lots of dirt bikers that come up here and ATV cars that come through here. It starts with pavement. We climb up for quite a bit and then eventually it'll turn into dirt and get pretty rough. So for now, we're going to take it easy and pretty excited to see Hiroki's handling skills on the climb. Here we go. Let's enter the mountain. Lots of people out here with their ATV setups, bringing up their dirt bikes. Nice secret spot. Everyone's got the same van. Minna <laughs> Hayasu. Really popular van here for outdoor stuff in Japan. Me too. <laughs> this is the danger spot right here. Road collapsed last year. Got to be careful here. Uh, 
almost done with the pavement climb. I'm gonna be starting the dirt soon. We've entered the dirt section. Starts with a pretty rough section with some big rocks, but it smooths out a little bit once you get past this. This is really hard to do one-handed. Here you go, some of the off-road dirt road trails. These are pretty much impossible to ride on the mountain bike. But this main section is mostly rideable. Here's a nice little cliff drop off. Should be extra careful here. here a couple weeks ago there was some snow unfortunately warm today so all the snow is melted haven't been getting much precipitation lately at all it's one of the good things about winters here in Japan there's not much precipitation but it's usually super windy so it gets extra cold the one way to escape that though is go into the mountains there's no wind here I'm boiling right now and I'm just in a jersey we just arrived at the difficult part of the course. Pretty much this part is unrideable. It's got lots of big boulders, really slippery rocks, loose sand, and you can see it's just super steep. This is more of the ATV section. So other than this part though, you can pretty much ride the whole thing. A nice cyclocross core workout, pushing the bike. <sighs> And here we go, we can start riding again. Mountain bike was how? Very hot. <laughs> Very hot. Hot ka hard. Bioho. Yes. You heard Hiroki, hot and hard. Tanoshi. Tanoshi. Very good. <laughs> Big smile. Yeah. Mountain bike kate yo kata ka no? <laughs> New world. <laughs> New world. <laughs> and I'm also pretty happy to have someone to join me on the mountain biking adventures. Uh, we're gonna continue going downhill a little bit. So I'm gonna turn off the GoPro because I don't have my chest mount right now, but we'll catch you back on the next uphill. Hiroki and I are finishing our ride with my favorite thing. Tayaki! Nice and busy today. Lots of people here today. All lined up inside. We've got a new flavor now. We've got our seasonal February chocolate flavor for Valentine's Day, maybe. Mountain bikes and Chayaki. Does it get any better? So I went with the two flavors today. Chocolate, which is a seasonal flavor, and custard. I normally would go with the red bean, but I had red bean bread on bun earlier today. So, we're gonna do some other flavors. Taiyaki ride. Taiyaki ride. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Mm. So that was a pretty fun ride. Had a great time mountain biking with Hiroki. I'm really glad that he's starting to get into mountain biking and enjoyed that ride. This has been one of my favorite loops to do for the last like three or four years that I've been living here. Absolutely love the ride. Great way to finish it with the Taiyaki and after a nice cold ride, some nice hot Taiyaki is awesome. I wanted to finish today's video with a shout out and thanks to Santic for sending us these cycling jerseys. They sent one for me and they also sent one for Tung-chan. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we've been doing some partner videos with Santic for the last few months. We did one with their summer jerseys, one with their fall jerseys. This is one of their winter jerseys, the Christmas special edition. 
Um, it's a little bit past Christmas right now, so I'm a little bit late with making this video. I've actually been riding this jersey a lot, so if you check my Instagram feed, you'll see some pictures of me wearing this. I just haven't had time to make this review video, so I thought I'd do that now. So let's go over the jersey here, some of the key features. Like I've mentioned in the other Santic videos, I really, really like certain parts of their design. For example, this clip here for the zipper is super easy to grab, and in winter, you can barely grab these zippers, so this is a really smart little feature that goes a long way. There's a lot of cool things in the design here. You can see this is kind of like a carbon style design here, a windbreaker part on the shoulders. It's not covering the whole thing, so you don't overheat or anything. And there are actually some different ventilation spots on here. So if we look at the back, you can see there's some holes on the back there for some ventilation. And this thing is great. I mentioned today it peaked out at about 9 degrees Celsius, but it also got pretty low down to like 4 or 5 degrees Celsius. And I was just wearing this with the tiny little summer base layer beneath it, and I was perfectly comfortable for the full ride. Like I mentioned, I'm trying to go to a more minimalist style when I ride now and not wearing too much clothing to the point where I overheat and wear everything just really baggy. So this is a nice, really sleek design. I really like the simplicity. I love black and white. Black and white doesn't get much better than that. There's a couple cool other little features in here as well. On the side here, we've got the white section. This is actually a pocket, so this is pretty great. I can put my money in here, my key, so I can quickly grab that. And this part also has a zipper. Uh, this zipper is a bit smaller. It's not the easy to grab one, but you won't really be using your gloves when you're grabbing um, things like that, like your phone and stuff. So. That's okay. They don't have that on the other side though, so it's just one side. They have their main logo here, the Cycling for Freedom. And the other thing I really like about the Santic jerseys, I've mentioned this in their other videos, is this little strap here, the grip here. It grips on really smooth. It's not too tight, nice and comfortable, doesn't move. And in the back we've got our main zipper pocket. This is just a one zipper pocket. I'm not the biggest fan of this style. I like having separate pockets, but it does have the big zipper handle, so that's nice and easy to grab and open like this. And in combination with the side pocket here, we do have two different pockets that we can use. Going into the inside of the jersey, we've got a nice warm material in here. The other thing I like about these jerseys, they have the information tag, so you can write your information in here. You can write your name, your blood type, your emergency contact information. A really handy, nice little useful thing that you don't really see on other jersey companies. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's going to conclude this mini little jersey review. If you like the design and want to check it out for yourself, I'll leave the links down below. Another great thing about this company is they ship worldwide for free, and that's included in their jersey prices. And I've been using their jerseys for the last few months now, haven't had any problems, so it's a good bargain, it's a good deal if you're looking for some nice, affordable cycling clothing. That also looks pretty cool. So yeah, let's finish today's video here. I'm hoping you guys like this trend of more mountain bike videos. It's something I've been neglecting the last year or so. I haven't really mountain biked that much, mostly because I've been doing a lot of road riding with Tuong Chan. But now that she's also starting to like mountain biking, hopefully we're going to get a second mountain bike for our arsenal and do some more mountain bike rides together in the future. Anyway, if there's any other topics you'd like me to go over in a future video, make sure to leave that below down in the comments. And of course, a big, big thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon and everyone who helps support this channel. We really appreciate it. That's going to be it for today, guys. We'll see you in the next episode of Tubal Cruise. Later, guys.